You brave enough to hop across, Blondie? I'll get that. One little whip of the hair. Mostly. Kidding. Wait, I'm sensing something shiny. Blondie, they look very dangerous. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. What's on your mind? Oh, you just have to help us. We're practicing to be royal ladies in waiting. The ones who help the queen do her hair every day. And we saw that you have... You have a lot of hair. Can we braid it? Please? Pretty please? Please, can we? With sugar on top? Well, I'd love for you to. Yay! Your hair looks amazing. Splendiferous! Incredulous! Oh, girls, it's perfect. Thank you. forget that night. Me then I gave you back your satchel. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I wasn't scared anymore. And you understood? Yeah, I did. But I had to go. I didn't understand that. We were having such a wonderful time. Then you left. I know, but there was something I had to take care of, and then I was going to come right back. Mother Gothel found me. And it seemed like she'd been right all along. I couldn't believe it. You took the crown, got a boat, and sailed away from me. Mother said the only place I could be safe was with her. I thought she was right, that I'd never see you again. What was the point of this silly journal anyway? Why would I want to remember? Now hold on just a minute, that's not the whole story. They tricked us both. I never took a boat, I was double-crossed and thrown in jail. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm not half the artist she is. Max saw the whole thing, he knew you were in danger and he went to get help. The thugs helped me escape and thanks to Max, I came to help you. Hold on, Blondie, we're on our way. <laughs> 